Hey everybody. Well, I'm here at the cliffside dump here. I mean, this is real steep, so it's Thanksgiving. Uh, be having dinner a little later, but I just started scraping around a little bit and look at a great big seven up, like a big one liter. Not too bad a shape. I mean, it's not perfect. A pretty good shape. Maybe somebody will want to purchase it or trade. Actually, it's in the, the, the ACL is pretty darn good. The more I'm looking at it, I got one up top here. I sit some kind of like a jar. Uh, real neat. It'll be pretty neat. It's this jar is kind of like this thing. It's some kind of an off type jar. A bunch of deco stuff on it, but. Uh, regular standard uh, mason lid will fit, so not too bad. Pretty decent start. I'm looking for marbles. This is a pretty good place for marbles, so be back at it, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. See ya. Okay, everybody, I am back. You can see I dug a few, few holes. This place has been dug for over 20 years. It was dug out before I even found this dump but it still had a lot of goodies in it so that's why I still hit it it's not the best of places but you know it's it's Thanksgiving and I wanted something to do so I'll just show you here um, all kind of like a light fixture or something this here it's cracked I didn't see that before yeah, pretty sure that's like Bakelite. One of them early plastics. I'm not going to keep it now. This little thing. Hear that? That stuff's slipping way down there in the bottom. Right, this is an embossed bottle here. Pull it out, check it out. It says Holland House. It's a screw top. It's green. It's strong shoulder, Mason. I'm pretty sure this is a ball. Yeah, ball. So ball mason, strong shoulder. Good old 7-up right there in that. Bear aspirin. You know, maybe some stuff just to trade around with somebody. Alright, I'm going to get back out of there, but I just want to share that with you. Right, like right in here, I... This right where they first dumped it, I find marbles in here, so that's what I'm doing right now. I went down there and played around for a little bit, but now I'm going to get back on the marbles. Hope everybody's having a great Thanksgiving. God bless America. See ya. All right, everybody. I sure hope that this thing's clean. All right, that's a little better. So. I'm finishing up over there. I ended up finding a uh, frosty root beer bottle. So that's probably the best soda bottle I found all day long. It's an ACL, but they it's in pretty good shape and they look pretty nice. But I got bored, right? And I thought, well, I'll go over here and see what's going on. You never can tell. And I saw something and I, and I flipped it with my little rake there and check this out it's, it's buddy l nice buddy l and i think to me that looks like a <laughs> looks like a bunch of coke bottles to me <laughs> But maybe, maybe I've been digging for too long. <laughs> but that's still, that's pretty nice. And it's Buddy L. Good shape. Nice little find. Cool. I tell you what, it's a heck of a, you go off the side here in your history. All right, everybody. See ya. All right. Back, everybody. It's Artifacts and Big Racks. Well, today, it's a Sunday. And we just got a drenching rain. It's been bad weather for a couple of days, really. I uh, dug up a full point yesterday, probably a, probably a uh, Flint Ridge uh, 
Vanport Brewerton. If I was to put my finger on it, so that's my guesstimation on that. You see here, look at this. Very nice snapping on it. It looks like it was the back end of maybe an Adena blade. Some kind of circular knife form. There's not a whole lot to the artifact. It's hard to determine what it is, but as you can see, you know, they've bulldozed this and they built a great big set of big hog hog barns down here. You know, essentially industrialized farming. But I have permission and you know, what else is a guy like me gonna do? Sit around and do nothing? Eh, it's a waste of time. But I do have a Cleveland Browns football game I'm going to watch at about one. And I've got a few hours to burn, so you know, I think I have a thumb scraper in my pocket and it come from the field that's over here. There's a lot of erosion down into there. And if you look right here on that hillside, you know, I'm, it's, the, it's, these are quarry sites. I mean, there's monster chunks of flint everywhere, shattered flint all over, different varieties and little artifacts, little artifacts. So that's like a sourcing area right there. Every once in a while, you'll find something in it, but never points, never points. So, but if I wanted to stock up on some raw material, and if I ever got a an order put in, to, hey, I want, uh, let's say, you know, 100, 200 pounds of some Upper Mercer or good Vanport Kashocked and Flint Ridge Flint, I could fill that order <laughs> in an hour. So, but nonetheless, I'm here trying to find points and other fine artifacts. And so, I'm not over there today. I'm looking this out, hoping it, you know, I'll find more stuff like this. Yep, shame it's broke, but I'm going to get back at it here. Just want to let you know what I was doing. See ya. Well, I'm right back at it. I just turned the phone off about 30 seconds later. I come up on this side of the lump. And there we go. Exactly what I was talking about. Flint Ridge, Vanport, translucent material. And it's the same kind of stuff that I'm finding at the site that I've been digging. And this flint is sourced here. Not Licking County. This is Western Coshocton County, Vanport right there. So I just wanted to show you that, just like I said, you know, the source of this material is just across the valley, this whole hillside. It's just amazing amounts of flint. But I just wanted to show you that just to let you know that, you know, we're, we're very close to the source area. And there we go. So I found this artifact and then a great big, not, well, that's not really big, but a good core of high quality flint. See you. All right, everybody, I'm back here. I uh, I didn't really find nothing at that construction site, you know. I just so I hunted it, and uh, that's that. I got out of there. But man, look at this core. You know, that's Upper Mercer, and that's just beautiful. And it's been, it's probably seen some heat treatment. I hate to pack this thing out of here, it's a big old chunk, but. Just look at this stuff. You can see that's Indian. I mean, right there, that's their work, not not the farmer. <laughs> Guaranteed, you know, that's where they were spalling at it. Great stuff. I'm in a good place. I'm back here where I found a uh, big sandy with a chisel tip and an archaic beveled knife. So I'm I'm still in a local spot. I don't have to very, go very far to, to just to do some great arrowhead hunting. I, you know, I'm uh, blessed that I uh, live in the area that I do just year round. If if I have the ambition year round, good arrowhead hunting. I mean, that's that's what I found on that, that other site. But I just did. I mean, just to show you. 
I'm just, uh, but no, no artifacts, you know, you just can't lie about it, it didn't happen, except for that broken one, but look at this, that's a broken artifact, another translucent piece, boy, this is like glass right there, the Lord, Shh. really don't get much better than that as far as material yeah I guess I'm gonna keep that core I'll get it down here my you know pal is almost like a kangaroo here the things are sagging <laughs> but it'll go with all the rest of them that I got Okay, everybody, it's windy, but I, I shouldn't even have turned off the phone. I really shouldn't have. It's, it was like 30 seconds. I walked over a couple of rows, and I haven't picked this up, so we'll pick it up together. I haven't touched it, but I can already tell. Look at that. That's I guarantee you that's looking like you swear to me. Let it be dimpled like that other one. Uh, it's not, but that's what that is. It's an old hammer stone. Look. Fasted. Okay, there you go. Fasted right here in the back. Fasted. And then on this end also. Excuse. Excuse Find a lot of them like that around here. A lot of them. It's not a really great point, but... It's still a pretty good artifact. All right, I'm get off here. Back at it, see you. Okay, everybody, I got the so far. This is the best Flynn artifact that I found today. Like a preform to me. There's not a lot of extra work that's been done to this. Looking like to me preform. Made out of Nelly Gray shirt. But as you can see, you know, this Nelly Gray, you know, the the, the good Kashocked and Black. You know, right there, glossy, a little glossy material. As you can see those little spots of it. But all in all, Nelly Gray. All right, Nelly Gray preform. See.